so in my presentation, I will first introduce what HydroShare is and some of the feature functions in the system. Then I will talk about the CSDMS and HydroShare capability. Um, also, I will use the slow grace data component as the example for the demo. So HydroShare is a web-based hydrologic information system designed to help people collaborate and solve research problems. People can use the data sharing and social functionality to share their data and models and collaborate around them. They can also use some of the web apps for data visualization, analysis, or modeling. So I'm going to introduce some functions around these three aspects, which is the data sharing, social functionality, and the web apps. Uh, in HydroShare, data sets are organized and managed by resource. Each resource can contain any kind of files, and one resource can include multiple data sets. There are also some additional data functions for several data types, such as the time series, multidimensional space-time data, geographic feature, and raster. HydroShare also supports uh, the data publication. Uh, when you want to publish your data, model or Jupyter notebooks, you will get a DOI for it. In HydroShare, there are some social functions to encourage collaboration. One is the resource access control. The user can share their data sets or their resources only with trusted users or groups. They can also make it open to public so that anyone can discover and access it. Um, and HydroShare users can also create their own groups uh, for collaboration. They can also make a request and join some existing ones, such as the Quasi Jupyter Hub group in HydroShare. Um, so HydroShare also includes several web apps to support uh, data visualization, analysis, and modeling. One of the example is the Quasi Jupyter Hub. So uh, on the Quasi Jupyter Hub, there are multiple server options. One of them is the CSDMS Workbench, uh, which is the CSDMS and HydroShare capability. Uh, it was implemented to have the CSDMS tools installed, including the PyMT and LandLab. There are also some other widely used scientific packages installed on this server option, such as Pandas, Matplotlib, and X-Array. Um, the notebooks for PyMT and LandLab are available in HydroShare. So this figure shows a HydroShare resource that includes the notebooks for the soil grace data component. You can also create your own data or model components or the modeling workflows and share the notebooks in HydroShare. This will help the people discover, access, and then reproduce your work using HydroShare without the need to download the data or install the software on the local computers. Uh, before my demo, I also would like to talk about a little bit about the data component. So a data component is a Python package that wraps an API for a data source with a basic model interface. Uh, this means like a model component a user or machine can access the data source without the knowledge of its specific API under the PyMT modeling framework. But currently, we have six data components and more is on the way. We also want to encourage people to create and share new data components uh, for the community to use in the research. As for the soil grid data component, uh, it fetches the global graded soil information from soil grid system. This system maps the spatial distribution of soil properties, such as uh, bulk density, uh, clay, sand, and silt content. And um, I just want to talk a little bit about the general steps, how to create uh, a data component and take the soil grids as an example. So I first uh, created the SoilGrids Python package. In this package, it includes the SoilGrids.py file, which has a class to download the soil datasets from the SoilGrids system using its uh, web coverage service. Uh, uh, this package also includes the BMIPy file. Uh, this wraps the 
class with the basic model interface. Then I run the Babelizer over the SoilGrace package to create the PyMT SoilGrace package. The Babelizer actually is a utility for wrapping libraries that expose the BMI um, so that um, they can be imported through PyMT. So PyMT SoilGrace is the data component that can be imported uh, under the uh, PyMT modeling framework. One thing to note is that a user can directly use the SoilGrace package to download the soil data if there is no need to couple it with other PyMT uh, model components. So uh, now I'm going to make a demo for the soil grace data component in HydroShare. Can you see my screen? Yep. Okay. Um, so this is the home page of HydroShare. If you go to the Discover page, and you can type soil grids. You will see uh, here is the, the resource that includes the notebooks for the soil grids data component. And this is the resource landing page of that resource. It, it includes a bunch of uh, metadata information. And on the uh, top right corner, it shows the resource access control function. And um, this is the version control of the resource. And this one is trying uh, is to help people publish their resource and uh, get a DOI for it. And, and there are two notebooks. One is for the SoilGrace Python package. One is for the PyMT SoilGrace Python package. Now I'm going to open it with the Quasi Jupyter Hub app. Okay. Uh, in the soil grace uh, notebook, it includes three sections. The first one is a brief introduction and install the package. The second one to show the example how to uh, use soil grace to download the data for realization. And the third section is to guide you write your own code and download data sets for different soil properties. Uh, the first step is to install this uh, soil grace Python package. On Quasi Jupyter Hub, the user has the freedom to install their new uh, data or model components or other required Python packages. The benefit of it is that we don't need to update the CS DMS workbench uh, server option when there are some new uh, components coming out and created by the community. Um, so in a Second section are the examples, and in the soil grace package, uh, there are two classes. One class is the soil grace class, which is designed to uh, for users to download the data sets. The other one is the BMI soil grace class, uh, which actually wraps the soil grace class with a basic model interface. Mm. And in the soil grace class, uh, there is a method called get coverage data, which actually is used to uh, retrieve the data set from the system. And you can click on this link to get more detailed information for the parameter settings. And the, in this uh, example, actually is trying to download the soil pH value in a study area in a synagogue. And this cell is trying to show some of the uh, math data inf information for the soil data sets, such as the wearable name units and like the bounding box and the grid resolution information. And now we are going to make a plot of the soil data set. Okay. 
So I will uh, skip this section because uh, it, uh, this section actually is to demonstrate how to use the BMI so grades class to download the exact uh, same data sets. But this is um, the BMI so grades class is not designed for people to use. So if you have interest, you can just uh, uh, went through the cells and see the detailed information. Uh, in the third section, it will help you to learn about uh, some of the soil grace map service. And then it will guide you to download several soil data sets for the Boulder Creek area in the Colorado state. Um, one thing to mention is that when you write your code, you can also uh, double click here and check with the answer and see if uh, uh, your code is, is correct. Okay. So this is the notebook for the Pime T soil grades. Uh, the first step is to install uh, this Python package. Yeah, if you look at the coding example, you will find out the way to use the data component is very similar as the way to use the model uh, components. Uh, for example, the first step is to uh, initialize the data component using a conf configuration file. Uh, while we're waiting, maybe I can show what the config file looks like. So actually, uh, these, these information uh, are exactly the same as the parameter settings from the soil grades uh, Python package. Okay, now uh, after the initialization, uh, we have actually uh, downloaded the data from, from the soil grid system, actually it's downloading this exactly the same data sets um, uh, from, uh, from the study area in Senegal. And this cell actually is showing how to use the variable related methods and check the variable information, like the variable name, units and its value uh, location and the variable type and the grade uh, for that variable. And this cell is trying to uh, use the grade related methods and check the grade information of the soil data sets, such as the grade type, uh, grade rank, shape, its spacing 250 meters and uh, the grade origin for the lower left uh, point. So, um, so these methods are exactly the same how to uh, get the grid information for a model component. And this step is trying to retrieve the data using the get value method. And finally, it's doing the plot. So it's the same as the one which is shown in the soil grace notebook. Okay, finally, it will do the finalize, finalize the component. Uh, I think uh, that's all my demo. One thing I want to talk about is uh, the benefit of creating the data component is that uh, with the same interface, it will make the data set more interoperable with the models and the PIMT modeling framework. There's no need to uh, worry about what the file format is or uh, the specific API of the original data source. It also supports the reproducibility of the research because sometimes uh, the data files may not be accessible for people to use and reproduce the work, but uh, with data components, people can uh, easily to retrieve the same data sets just uh, using some commands. And the benefit of using the CSDMS and HydroShare capability is uh, this will help uh, the community easily discover 
and access and reproduce uh, your modeling work. And they don't need to uh, download the data sets or install the software on the local PC. Okay, uh, I think that's all my demo.